Hello Internet people. In this video, I'll show you how you can enable site search in Google Analytics. After this video, you will start seeing what people search on your site inside the site search report in GA. Arnie, what people search on your website? Just bodies. Take sweat punch. I'm on my Google Analytics homepage and to enable the site search, you just have to go to admin section. And here you need to select in the view, the view settings. And then if you scroll down, there's a, there's this button that you can enable the site search. So just press on it and then it will ask you the query parameter. So the easiest way to find out what you have is just to go to your site, perform a search and whatever is between the question mark and the equal sign. So in my case, it's S that's what goes in here. And if you don't have any search queries in the URL, then you will need to use Google Tag Manager to track the site search. A video of how to do it will appear in the top right corner right now. And then enable the strip query parameters. Otherwise, you're going to have millions of different URLs with just slightly different query parameters. So for example, if somebody searched for SEO and then next one search for SCM, those will be separate lines in your page report and you don't want that. And then just hit on save. Hardy, how was that? Enough talk. All right, that's it. You basically have enabled the uh, site search on your site now. As long as your Google Analytics is installed correctly, this should work. Oh, and to make sure it's working, just open an incognito window and search something on your website. This will ensure there's at least one search. And after a few hours, you should see your search. I think this report has a few hour delay before you see any result. So keep that in mind and make sure you've included the right dates. My name is Robert. And if you're looking to master the digital world while getting entertained, this is the channel for you. So hit that subscribe button and find the bell icon so that you get notified about new videos. Here are two videos that I think you will find useful. Whoosh.